Hello and welcome everyone into another special video. Today I will take you into a detailed tour in LD Player, the emulator I am using to play War Robots test servers. Many of you were asking for my settings in LD Player and how to set up controllers for War Robots. So we decided to collaborate with LD Player on this particular video. Let's get started. Most of you probably have already heard about LD Player, but for those who don't know yet, let me explain it briefly. LD Player is a free Android emulator that you can run in your PC. It provides the fastest performance for Android gaming, supports multiple Windows systems, and most popular apps and games. With LD Player, you can use and play your apps and games using the advantage of a mouse, keyboard, and console. It also supports multiple accounts and has a built in screen recording software as well. If you don't have LD Player yet, firstly go to my affiliate link down below and download it from the official site. After downloading it to your PC, open it up. Firstly, sign into your Google account. Then go to the settings. Here is the crucial part. In the advanced settings tab, we have the resolution, CPU, and RAM section. In resolution tab, click on customize and write down your screen's maximum native resolution 2560 by 1440 in my case. You can check this info by right clicking on an open space in desktop and go going into the display settings. DPI means dots per inch or known as PPI, pixels per inch. You can calculate your screen's DPI easily online by knowing its size in inches and its native resolution. In LD Player, I recommend setting your DPI to a number close to your original DPI. My monitor has 180 dpi originally and I set it to 150 in this case. Next we have the CPU section. Here we pick how much cores of our computer we will assign for this particular task which is Android emulation. The recommended value here works the best in most cases. I have 8 cores in my main PC and 6 cores in my laptop. I assigned 4 cores in both of these. If your CPU has 4 cores in total then go ahead and assign all 4 cores. As for the RAM, here also the recommended value is the best. Important thing here is not assigning too much RAM to let other background tasks in your PC run stable. The main rule here should be not assigning more than 50% of your RAM. Let's say you have a total of 8GB of RAM, then you should not assign more than 4GB in LD player. I have 16GB of RAM on my laptop and 32 on my main PC. In both of my machines I assign 4GB of RAM because it has been the most stable one for me. You can check your CPU and RAM specs by clicking Ctrl, Alt and Delete keys on your keyboard then going to the task manager. In the model section I haven't changed any settings and I don't recommend changing either. When we come into game settings here we see a bunch of different features and options. For the frame rate you can keep it at 60 FPS default because that is the maximum war robots can support. In the advanced option if your computer is beefy and has G-Sync or FreeSync capabilities then you can enable the first option. Although particularly for war robots I don't believe these would have an astounding effect. So leaving everything here at default is the best you can do for war robots. Robots. In the audio and network tab you don't have to change anything, although if you want to use a specific microphone while playing you can pick it up from this part. In the shortcuts menu you can see a lot of useful commands that you don't necessarily have to change but of course if you want to you can assign different keys if you wish. In the other settings tab you don't have to change anything either except the root permission section. If you want to get 60 fps and HD graphics in the game you will need to enable root permission in this case and download a third party app but that can be a topic for another video. Now let's get into how I set up my controllers for war robots. Firstly get into a custom match. So we set up controls single handedly without messing with others gameplays. Alright so we are in a custom match now. So what do we do first? We get into the upper right corner in the LD player where we see kind of a keyboard symbol. We click on there and we see uh, you can see all the controllers I set up in advance but I'm going to delete them all and set up from the beginning. Alright. Now the first thing you want to do is come here where it says control the move direction of the games in the games. Drag that into the area where you see where you see the control controller tab here in the lower left corner of the screen and take it right into the middle there. With this setup we will use the WASD keys on our keyboard to make our robots move. All right. Right into the 
other symbol, right next to that we have the press the left mouse button to fire in shooter games. We drag that right into our red fire cross arm. Here uh, we'll just fire with the left, left mouse button, alright? Next thing we want to add in this section is move the mouse to rotate the view in shooter games. Drag that as well and place it anywhere in the screen, it doesn't matter. Now you can assign any button you want to this. Um, when you right click the mouse button you will be able to roam around freely and that is what I use. You can use other keys here, for example control key and when you press the control um, your mouse cursor will, will disappear and you will be able to see freely around the map. Alright, next steps are easy. Just on the ability, on the ability button come there and press with your left mouse key and it says please enter a key and we're just going to press the space button I use space for my abilities and now for all other abilities for the Titan secondary ability I use the E button for the active modules the Q for the orb orbital support F button and for each single individual weapon I write down one two three and four for all of them and for the lock on button just use the tab now controllers you see here are mine and what I personally use but you can change certain stuff here like those active modules one for example the ability the sec titan secondary ability etc this is how I personally use and this is looks almost exactly like how controllers are set up on steam platform and when we go to the right side we also see show the key map prompt in games you see that if you check that and save you can see all the controllers in your screen right now one two three we have the space in here if you don't want to see them just go there and uncheck that box and click save again and you don't see any more of those instructions and that's basically it guys now I have the cursor open, you can see it, now I'm just going to right click and now use the WASD keys to roam around freely. Press space and the robot jumps and so on. Press Q and the active module activates. And let's press the 1, you see only that weapon fired. We press 2, only that weapon fires. And that's how I set up my controllers for war robots. I hope it was helpful.